Hi, I'm David Stitzel, and I'm trying to tell a little bit about, um, kind of this, try to describe a little bit what I'm doing with um, Georgian music intonation experiments. So this is a Georgian Pandori. They do come in two um, types. Usually I use another one with modern frets like the octave split in 12 equal parts. This has the octave split into seven equal parts, which is kind of strange, actually very strange. Um, everything wrong <laughs> also nothing to do with pure tuning or something but it's a equal division to seven and you can hear some of this in some Georgian music but most instruments and singers don't have frets or that kind of fixed notes or they have a a little different fixed notes, so they are not usually uh, uh, equal division of the octave in seven, but something kind of close. And then they change uh, between the voices. They have different rules, and so and they correct some intervals, so it gets um, away from that. But there's something of that mixed in, and that may might it might also be a, a fifth. That is, you can hear that it's not. Fifth is not totally wrong. Actually, it's better now than it should be because of the placement of the bridge and the tuning of the strings. But, but if these are equal steps, then it's also a fifth uh, put in equal steps. And if I if I would correct the fourth, then it would be something different again. So I've started to play um, in a tuning that divides the octave in 22 equal parts on a guitar that I don't have here now um, because I had this guitar and because it makes possible I can also play the same tuning here um, it makes possible this to have a fourth that is split into equal steps this is also there are some scales in theory by some uh, Georgian people that say that they have a actually a fourth divided, not equally, but something close, and then they repeat this scale. But if you do that here, if you go on like that, you don't get you know, get to an octave, and you also get this fifth. But in 22 equal divisions you can do this and then go to a different fifth, which is better, though not totally pure. And from there you get also uh, to an octave. And this might not be the best or the Georgian old scale, but it's something that sound kind of Georgian to me when I first heard it and that's when I uh, how I started trying to do this so I have some videos where I try to play Georgian music in this and then you can add in this tuning you can actually add other intervals like I can I can use normal um, major or I can add a, a, set, a natural 7 and so on get some problems also then someone said ah but they they do have a different third a lot like more middle third 
and it's closer to split the fifth into equal parts, which is now this is now um, octave split into 34 equal parts actually, and I can get a scale that sounds like where the fifth is split into equal steps. And this also sounds kind of Georgian. If I go on like this, I get a wrong octave again, but I can correct the octave. But the fourth also sounds very strange, so to me it sounds more Georgian to also correct the fourth. And then I get actually a, a tetrachord with three notes that are one system and then this corrected note. And I can have two of the same tetrachords. And then of sounds Georgian in a way and it has this middle third and I can also add other intervals but then I can also get which I also hear a lot in Georgian music doesn't have this middle third. I've used this actually more because it sounds more Georgian to me most of the time for songs. And just in the endings I I hear the other one more. to play <laughs> like this. Um, yes, I use this step mostly for endings. Then there's a question for both of these tunings whether there's always this bass or it goes down even two steps and whether it goes down like this or like this it both doesn't really work out most of the time I use two different steps because otherwise I have to change the notes up here in the other voices like this works So, the same kind of questions, I've, I've added some purer thirds and some uh, seven, uh, natural seventh, same problems with 22 equal, the other tuning I've tried, it's kind of clear that it's mainly this scale with some notes changed and corrected in between, 
Mm. But if I play um, other voices. Um, for the lower voice I have to hold it in a different way Sounds, sounds wrong, but it sounds better to use the scale for the low voice to go down a note and another and up again, that is, or also to mix them. This, the scale that I'm using going up would be logic to use the same going down, but more sense for the other voices to use this little bigger step going down or maybe sounds too big I don't know yet and it's anyway not any of these is uh, kind of the Jordan tuning it's just to uh, try to figure some things out to get closer to what makes sense and what doesn't make and when when I hear it makes more or less sense to try to understand why and what that might mean so that's it